Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nocturnal Gaming Network. My name is Zira, and today we are here on the docks, and uh, there's our friend Charles Dickens. Uh, no, not Charles Dickens, Charles Darwin. Wow. Uh, so, today we are going to start the Darwin and Dickens Conspiracy, which is some of the DLC for the game. So, we're going to talk to him, and we're going to see what this is all about. Darwin's Orchids. So, we are going to recover some of Darwin's orchids friend, at the docks. I'm sorry to be so blunt, but I need to ask a favor of you. Of course a you delivery do. delivery awaits me at the docks. A very rare orchid. All the way from the island of Madagascar. Mm -hmm. But there is a problem. One of my associates wants the flower for himself. He sent ruffians to collect it, if you can believe that. Oh, I can believe it. So, reach the docks before the thugs. Alright. One minute, 39 seconds. Why is the time oh, starting in the cutscene? Alright. So, we're just gonna sort of run for it, huh? That's probably the best way to do this, right? Maybe. I don't know that it is. I don't know that we're going to make it in time here. Uh-oh. Okay. Good. Let's go up. There we go. We can go to the other side and hopefully... Hopefully we can make it over there. Right there. So let's run to like here and then use our little grapple hook thing all right we have reached the dock before the thugs we're not quite there yet um hmm. aha I'm betting it's that right there or not what are you doing up there? hi there 18. Aha! Retrieve. Good night. She shouldn't be intruder. She's right uh oh. There. Oh, I'm stuck. I can't do anything. Return to Darwin in a carriage. Did I get it? I think I got it. Alright, let's see if I can get this chest while I'm at it. Perfect. We got some metal. Metal's helpful. Alright. Great. Hey, hey, hey. There's even a carriage right there waiting for us. We're gonna we're gonna drive this carriage with the enemies right inside of it, because we can. Whoops. Imagine that. I probably shouldn't have hit them, but I did. <laughs> oh no, they're shooting at us. Why would you come up beside us? Bam! <laughs> this is a disaster. Gotta go. Get off the road. I just cut down that tree like it was nothing. Faster. Hit him. There we go. Take this. Take them out real quick before we go back to Darwin. Alright, here we are. Back at Darwin. Easy. Oh, these guys are gonna get out now. That's not good. <laughs> what is he doing? He's just sitting there? Thank you. 
Hey Darwin. We're back. Uh, we have your you, orchid. My young friend. Thank you. This little orchid may seem inconsequential, but it holds secrets which could potentially change our very understanding of the world. Really? It would have been a shame to lose it. Shame indeed. Look at Thank you. Okay. Is that it? That is it. Alright, so we have completed the missions. The mission. Is there more? Hmm. Our mutual friend. I don't know that I want to continue with these Darwin and Dickens conspiracy missions right now. I think... I think what we're going to do is go to this mission with Jacob here. And we are going to... Where is it? It's right over here. Yeah, we're going to do this. We're going to advance the main story a little bit. I feel like that's the best use of this episode. Because we've spent quite a few episodes, you know, doing side missions and controlling different districts and whatnot. Looks like we need to go through this row of houses. I need your skills. We'll recruit him also. Probably should have taken a carriage, but we're close now, so it doesn't matter. Excuse me. Oh dear. We have a flaming double-decker carriage. Uh... Okay, Jacob introduces himself to Pearl Attaway, chief competitor to Sterick's Omnibius Company, owned by Malcolm Miller. Milner. Alright, let's let's switch to Jacob here and talk to her. <laughs> Must have had an accident. Yeah, what what gave you that idea? The carriage sitting in the middle of the sidewalk on fire with no wheels? That might indicate an accident. Or it could indicate a very good night. Is that the way? Yes, may I? Oh. Splendid. You're here to murder me. I what? No matter. Everyone has a prize. Um, Is this enough? I'm not here to kill you. Then what's your game? Mr. Starrick and the Milner Company have blocked your ambitions long enough. I have a business proposition for you. Wonderful. Come with me, we have much to discuss, Mr. Jacob Fry. At your service. Truer words were never spoken. Hmm. Okay. If you'd be so kind as to take the reins. Sure, we you can do that. You must understand, I've received threats against my life. Malcolm Miller has all but waged war on me since Mr. Starrick bought out his company. And no offense, I hope, but you do look the king type. I doubt I shall ever recover from such a slight. <laughs> what then is your interest in Give my redemption, news. Mr. Fry? I sense an opportunity uh -oh. that will benefit us both. Do you? Where are they is going? Is that so hard to believe? I don't Whatever know where they're going. Intentions, it will be quite the tonic to strike back against Milner and Starek. I have worked like a troop to make Adway Transport what it is today. I will not allow anyone to bring me to ruin. Hmm. So the question is, why did we steal, like, another double-decker carriage? Why didn't we just, I don't know, steal a normal carriage? We need to locate one of Miss Milner's... Keep moving. Miss or Mrs.? I don't know. Locate one of Miss Milner's employees. We'll Milner's. find out if it's Miss or Mil Miss or Mrs. It is Who Miss. Is a good boss? You are. Alright, so... Attaway's omnibus driver pr from, his, from his pursuer. Right. I can't lose another bus! Oh! Oh, 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 I understand why we're in this carriage, because this is one of her carriages. Get right. Away from my bus. 
Okay, gotcha. Reach Mil Milner's storage yard. Where are we? This looks like... Oh, it's Southwark. This looks like our, like, main rook hideout here. Easy now. Alright, so go. we're here at the storage yard. That was actually a perfect timing to take out that Malcolm guy, wasn't it? Malcolm Milner, Starek's puppet himself. Careful, you twats! This park scene needs to make it to the outway depot. He thinks he can burn my buses. Let's give him a taste of his own medicine. Let's give him the whole damn bottle. <laughs> we'll turn Milner's park scene against him. But I'll need help from my gang. Such entrepreneurial instinct, Mr. Fry. I shall leave you to it. I feel like she's an evil, like, mastermind here. Like, she seems really, really evil. Find a way to destroy the omnibuses. I'm gonna guess that fire is involved. Join me. Um, we're gonna... Push the cart full of explosives. Okay, good. Here, boys. <laughs> what was he saying about how the meat pie is made? I feel like he's indicating that we are going to be part of the meat pie. Alright, uh... So we need to push this. I'll find out where you Come on, move. boys. Uh, keep hold, Jacob. Mash A to push the explosives cart and B to stop. Why is my gang just watching me and not helping out? Uh oh, someone sees me. Get him, boys. You won't be stirring up no more trouble. <laughs> All right, here we are. Primed and ready. Right, so what do I need to do now? Ignite. Okay. How do we ignite that? Oh, dear. Come on, boys. You're going to get caught in the explosion. We don't want that. There we go. I can see Milner's stock price plummeting already. You're hired. Oh, I have more business planned for us both. Drop a note to my secretary to make an appointment, and I shall reveal the next step in our scheme. I don't actually work. For you? Like that. Like that. Oh, okay. Right. Um, the Bold Eagle Kukuri. So, Cane Sword. Sir Lemay's Cane Sword. So, we're going to head over here and we're going to actually continue with this mission, I think. Where is it? Over there. We're going to want to grab a carriage when we can. If there are any carriages, I don't see any. Yeah, I, I don't know that there are any carriages right around here. It's funny, I just burned an entire barrel, uh, not barrel, but a <laughs> storeyard of carriages, and now I can't find any. Maybe I should have, like, stolen one of them or something. Oh, there's a carriage. Oh! Is that a moving objective? 62. No, it isn't. Or is it? 
Yeah, it is. It is the carriage that's the objective. So are we just, like, chasing her down? Hey! Hey, slow down, man. I don't want to chase you. Alright. Jacob visits... I can't see that. Jacob visits Miss Attaway again to continue their assault on Milner. So let's go. Let's play. Are we going to drop her a little note? Nope, we're going to fast forward in time. All right. Mr. Fry, I told you to make an appointment. My schedule was open. You're fortunate I like you. <laughs> Internal combustion engines. Eight small syllables that mean a great deal of money. The engines will be delivered to Milner by train. Secure them for me, and he will be... devastated. Mm. I'm mm. the second train to pull this off. And I think I know just the man. So we have a deal, Mr. Fry? You're fortunate I like you, Miss Attaway. <laughs> okay. Do not kill a single policeman from the convoy. Locate Ned. Right. So Ned's going to help us pull this off, and I guess we're... Ooh. We're doing something with police. That's going to be hard if it involves not killing people. Um, I feel like any mission that is... Uh-oh, that's moving too, isn't it? I feel like any mission that is a mission where we have to be stealthy or not kill people or whatnot is very hard. Good night. Oh. How do I free... Become anonymous to interact. Right. Alright, let's... Let's climb up here. And then while the police are looking for me, we can probably free Ned. Ah, uh, but they aren't... They aren't falling for it. Hmm. How can I do this? Free Ned. So I feel like I need to anger these guys in the second part of this convoy. Uh-oh. Become anonymous. Right. It's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Hmm. Maybe I can anger these guys right here. Let's, let's hijack the driver. There we go. Uh-oh. Right. Up we go. Okay. Where is the convoy going? Alright. Good. Good. So we've angered them, but now we should be able to escape. Yeah. Uh-oh. There's another carriage coming back. Let's... There we go. There we go. Uh-oh. They re oh, there's another carriage back there, though. We might have to kill these guys here. How he... How can he still see me? 
Uh-oh. Let's get up on the roof here. Because he's going to get mad at us in just a second. There we go. Alright. So, if we're lucky... If we're lucky... We can make it to the back of this without anybody seeing us. There we are. That's how you do it. So what what was Ned imprisoned for in the first place? So what do you want, Fry? What makes you so sure I want something? Perhaps I saved you out of the kindness of my own heart. <laughs> Come on, let me tell you about the job. You're not going to free him from f the shackles first? Miller's pulling a lot of cargo there. Just be sure to make the transfer. Give him hell. Okay. Get a move on, Fry. What are we doing? Detach the reinforced wagons. Oh. I said reinforce duh. I I should have said reinforce mint wagons. Right. Uh let's jump across here. Right. So I think this is one of the reinforcement wagons, and we're going to punch it a couple times, and boom, there it goes. So let's not carry him. Let's just sort of toss him. Good good night. Sorry for the sticky end. Uh, search? Can I, can I search this thing? I should be able to. Maybe I already searched it. Right. Alright, so we have two of them. Let's ever so quietly take them out. Some voltaic bombs. Alright. So we need some knives here. Headshot. Okay. Gotcha. Just toss him. There we go. I take it that's not... Yeah, that's not what we're after. See? Alright, so... Oh dear, why didn't... Why didn't we get both of those guys? I don't know. But we're gonna punch this other reinforcement wagon. And we're gonna search. We're gonna try to search this crate. I'm gonna guess that since it's the last one, these are what we're looking for. Here we go! Yes. Okay, so we just need to detach these real quick. Uh-oh, she's after us. Goodbye. You guys gonna make the jump? Haha. -ha. Off you go. Uh-oh. Defend Ned. Okay. What are you waiting for, friends? Get moving. All right. So what's going on here? 
It says defend Ned, but then it instantly faded to black, and I think we're going to have a cutscene of them moving the engines. The internal combustion engine. The end of horse-drawn transport. <laughs> it's like gazing into the future. And what is the going rate for the future, do you think? Uh, we're not selling them. You're giving them to your contact? You'd be paid all the same. Who is this Pearl, anyway? How long have you been working with her? Uh, She's about 20 partner. minutes. That's all you need to know. Hmm. All right, and we have got Sir LeMay's cane sword, as well as some poundage and a little bit of experience. <laughs> Internal combustion engine. That looked an awful lot like a steam engine. But I I feel like maybe our first attempts at the internal combustion engine would. Hmm. So, so what's next here? After the game stops thinking about something. Whatever it's thinking about. There we are. This thing looks nice and pretty. James, I hope I didn't make it too laddie da. Slap some gold leaf here and there. I gave the wood a splash of shellac. I've holstered the lot. And how do you like the lampshades? Um. Great, I think. We must have just completed a sequence. And since we completed the sequence, they have finally upgraded the train. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Alright, alarm bell in the area. Alexa. So, sequence five. Uh, yeah. Right. So we have another mission here. Survival of the fittest. Black leather gauntlet. Okay. Hmm. So I suppose while we're right here, we'll collect our income. All 800... I oh. 5,000. Interesting. This train does look nice. Or at least, uh, it looks a lot nicer than it did. I feel like not all of it's changed. Black market. To get ourselves some throwing knives and some hallucinogenic darts. Alright, and we have 25,000 pounds here. Oh, okay. Uh, we are stuck. We cannot walk past her. There we go. Thought it was because she was mad at him for whatever reason. What's going on here? Souvenirs. They're playing some cards, too. Right. So this room looks about the same. So it looks like just this room here I'm that got changed. I'm told Dr. came to a bad end. I do hope you cleaned up after yourself. What? Always. I don't make a mess. So, I guess that's going to be it for this time. And uh, the next time when we're together, we're going to continue with some missions. I'm not entirely sure yet whether we'll continue with the DLC, or maybe do some Darwin or Karl Marx missions, or maybe the main missions. We do have something to do with Evie, we've got something to do with Jacob, you know, so we will we'll get to that the next time. Thank you all so much for watching. My name's Zira, and this is the Nocturnal Gaming Network bringing you Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Have yourselves a wonderful night, everybody.